Welcome to Design Your Destiny, your podcast for tapping into the power of your subconscious mind. In this next few minutes, allow me to show you how to tap into that power so that you can create success with ease, form deeper connections, and have greater presence in your relationships, and most importantly, find peace within yourself. My name is Penny Chason, and I'm your host. Hey, hey, joyful souls, it's Penny here, and I'm sharing with you today the reasons why sometimes committing to the deep work can be messy. That's right. A lot of times people think of hypnosis as this magical light switch that gets flipped Everything is immediately and instantaneously just perfect and all worked out. Well, I'm here to share with you that that's not always true. It depends on what it is you're looking to achieve and what is underneath the surface underpinning the beliefs, habits, and behaviors that are keeping you from what it is that you want. The majority of my clients are already on a transformational journey. Not all, but most of them. And when you're on a transformational journey, whether it's through meditation, group coaching, private one-on-one coaching, or studying mindset techniques where you journal and focus on certain aspects of yourself, It doesn't matter how you're approaching that transformation. When you are actively seeking to overcome your past, to be more, to create more in your life so that you can have expansion in your life, you're intentionally peeling an onion. That onion is you. It's your layers of your psyche. It's your layers of experience, emotions, habits, beliefs, patterns. And when you desire to be aligned in your life, that onion peeling becomes necessary because the things that are underneath the surface that are not in our conscious awareness will influence our thoughts, our beliefs. They influence our behaviors. And that's why this process can sometimes be messy. Sometimes we don't know where these thoughts, behaviors, beliefs come from. Sometimes we have an idea, but that's not always the case. As you go through a process of releasing these things, from time to time what will happen is it's very much not a linear process. Things can be entangled within one another. In other words, there can be more than one aspect of belief, more than one pattern of behavior or thought that is influencing something. And you have to address those sometimes individually Sometimes when you take care of one aspect, the other aspect just simply falls into line. It's not predictable. And it's one of those things that I wish I could predict for potential clients. Because when we get on a call about what it looks like to work with me, I cannot predict exactly the number of sessions. Now, sometimes people will approach me and They're not looking to do the deep work. They just want to experience a little more self-love and to have that push in the right direction. In other words, they don't want me to facilitate a process where they solve their problem. They just feel if they can get over this hump, that they have the tools to take care of the rest themselves. And sometimes I will do that in a single session with people. But when you're looking to eliminate these patterns, beliefs, and behaviors that keep you from feeling that ease, that flow, that sense of peace that comes inside and the happiness that is more happiness than you ever 
new that someone could truly experience on a day in and day out basis. If you're looking to do that level of work, then as I said before, it's not linear. It's not a straight line, which is one of the reasons why I no longer offer to work with clients in packages of sessions. Instead, I commit a time frame to them. And in this time frame, we work to quickly move them through the process of releasing and it allows time for life to happen. Now you might be wondering, what is so important for life to happen if the hypnosis is working? Well, sometimes people will hit a trigger because again, they're continually doing transformational work as we work together. They can peel another layer and open up something that wasn't addressed. Now, it's always my goal to empower people to know that they have the tools and the ability to handle what I call these wobbles. However, if we need to go subconscious to deal with it, I've got their back. We're within this period of time, this window that we're working together, and there's no concern over whether or not we need to invest in another hypnosis session. Because we have a set time frame. And in that time frame, I encourage my clients to step out and to test their results. So that if we're going to have a trigger, we can address it. It's like if you ever rode a bicycle. I know a lot of kids don't, don't play outside these days anymore. But if you ever rode a bicycle, you know, the first time those training wheels came off, You had to learn to adapt when the bike would wobble. And that is exactly what we're doing here is if you're on this path and we're doing this deep work and you experience the wobble, I help you to get through the wobble, either through using tools that you already have, using tools that I teach you, or if need be, we go in and we release what is underpinning it. One of the important things around subconscious transformation is that when you go into the subconscious and you release these blocks and these patterns, you begin to see things from a new perspective. You have new interpretations, but depending upon the degree to which these patterns were showing up in your life, In other words, depending on the degree that they were impacting your ability to follow through in your business, depending on the degree that they were showing up in your ability to form healthy relationships, depending on the degree that they're showing up in your ability to communicate and set boundaries, you now have to relearn healthy ways of being healthy ways of following through in your business, effective ways of communicating, being comfortable and solid in setting your boundaries, being connected in your relationships. So we've peeled away everything that was keeping you from doing these things. Now you have to get out and you have to test. And you have to put yourself in situations that allow you to set the boundaries. Put yourself in a situation that allows you to follow through in business. Put yourself in a situation that allows you to connect and communicate in relationships so that you can begin to reprogram for your mind a new way of believing about yourself. You're giving your brain the proof that doing these things the new way is safe. And we may end up doing a hypnosis session or two just around programming those things in after we've peeled the layers of the onion and we've gotten rid of what no longer serves you. Everyone is on a different path with this. Some people already know exactly what they need to do and they know they can do it. Things have just been getting in the way. And then for other people, they've never done these things before. 
So their subconscious has no frame of reference. So we have to make a believer out of it. So if you ever end up on a call with me, one of the things you're going to notice is I'm not going to offer you a set number of sessions because we just need to get that out of the way. I am here to give you 100% of my best to help you get the transformation that you want in your life so that you can move forward. What is it that you want in your life today? And what is it going to take for you to move forward? I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in today. I would love it if you would head over to iTunes and leave a positive review about how this episode has helped you to improve your life. When you leave a positive review, it helps us to reach even more people, helping them to change their lives. And that positive energy and vibration of sharing comes back to you as we spread the message of how you can use the power of intention, creating stronger subconscious beliefs in raising our vibration to create the life that we desire the one that we're here to truly live so that we can fulfill our purpose in life. Once again, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.